I am Anil Kumar and in this series of Algebra 1 word problems we have taken some simple questions which can help you understand how to solve word problems. The question here is however very tricky. It says there are four seats in each row of a bus except the last row which has five seats. Determine the total number of seats for five rows. You can always pause the video, answer the question, and then look into my suggestions. So let's first uh, make a sketch. So we're talking about seats in a bus. Each row of the bus has four seats except for the last, which has five seats. And we are also given that there are five rows, correct? So let us say these are the five rows of the bus. One, two, three three four and five now let's try to figure out where are the seats so in the bus we have uh, four seats one two three four one two three four so except for the last row each row has four seats so last row has five so one two three and 5 right so that is how it is and we have to find how many seats are there so clearly you can actually count so we have 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 17 18 19 20 and 1 21 so we can count and find that there are 21 seats so this is one way of doing it. The other way could be we have one, two, three, four rows. So we have, the other way will be we have four rows times four seats. And we have one row times five seats, right? So that gives you, so we are going moving in uh, this direction so that let's see from where we started, where we ended. So let me write here, 4 times 4, you could multiply, right, is 16 and then 1 times 5 is 5 and when you add them up, you get 21. So, so that is one way of doing it and definitely this way of doing is much faster especially if I say that there are let's say now not five rows but say 20 rows then what is going to happen now you'll find that it is better to make a general solution for the situation we could have many number of rows right then what happens so what we realize here is that if we have let us say r rows then how many rows will have four seats okay so let's break this up into a general question and now we are saying the general question is written here we have r rows each has four seats except the last which has five so we kind of generalize the question and we don't know how many rows are there are rows we say right all have four seats except the last which has five now in such cases what are you going to do now you don't don't really have these numbers to multiply now in such case we go to algebra and say well there are r rows that means one row has five that i know so definitely five times one stands which is the last row how many rows have four uh, r minus one has four so it is four times 
r minus 1. Do you get it? So the total now will become add these and you get 5 plus 4 times r minus 1. Do you get an idea? So that becomes a general equation and that is where the algebra begins. So as soon as you define a variable like we have done here, it becomes algebra. So it's not very different, right? Only generalizing a solution, uh, you can think, is algebra. Now, it is very simple. Now, if I say r is 20, if I say r equals to 20, then, then I know that it is 4 times, when I write like this, it means product 20 minus 1, Correct? Or I can replace R with 20 here. So we can say number of seats, let it be S now, is equals to 5 plus 4 times 20 minus 1. Do you get the idea right? Correct? So you can calculate without calculator also. 5 plus 4 times 20 is 80. And then you take away 4 times 1. Tricky. Right? Okay. And, and then you... You can add, get the result, correct, 85 take away 4 will give you 81 or you could have done with calculator, this is 5 plus 4 times 19, is it okay? So we'll do that with calculator, 5 plus 4 times, I'm sorry, uh, 5 plus 4 times 19 and that gives you 81, correct? So we have a general solution as you have seen. So the idea here is to understand how to define a variable, generalize a question, and then find a solution. Right. So that's the whole idea. And in this series, we are not directly going to answer the questions. However, we are going to think how to develop a formula to answer. And that is the approach which I am taking. I hope that really helps you to understand the concept. You can always write your comment, share my videos, and if you like, that'd be great. Thank you, and all the best.